we spoke about uh, spectral efficiency last time and I said that that is related to the signal to noise ratio. So, this week we are going to talk about uh, sources that are used for optical communication and some specific critical parameters that would matter as far as optical communication is concerned. Okay. But before we go on, uh, just a quick recap on spectral efficiency. We said spectral efficiency is defined as the bit rate transmitted divided by the bandwidth utilized. Okay. So, if I am transmitting 10 gigabits per second in 20 gigahertz bandwidth, the spectral efficiency is half and its unit is bits per second per hertz. And what is the goal of any communication system? You want to make this as large as possible. Given bandwidth, you want to transport as many bits as possible. So, all these different modulation formats 16 QAM and QPSK and so on were all attempts to increase the number of bits that you transported in a given uh, symbol duration or given spectrum. Okay. But the question is can I go on increasing this, can I make, can I think of a system where the spectral efficiency is 10, 20, 50, 100, what is the limit on spectral efficiency, right. So, that looks like there is turns out that there is a theoretical fundamental limit for spectral efficiency. However hard you try, however uh, you know complex your modulation format is, your spectral efficiency is fundamentally limited by signal to noise ratio. Okay. So, that theoretical limit is given by Shannon's theorem. Okay. This was derived way back in 1947 or 48. Uh, published in 48, where he says that the upper limit, the upper limit for reliable uh, uh, information transfer over a additive white Gaussian noise channel, AWGN channel. Okay. The, if you look at the uh, power spectral density, it is has to be white means all noise of all frequencies are present. It is additive in nature. So, to the signal the noise is additive in nature. So, for such a channel the maximum spectral efficient, this maximum information that can be carried which means the maximum bit rate that you can transport, the theoretical maximum. We are not deriving this, we will just take the theorem as it is. It is given by B times log to the base 2, notice it is log to the base 2, it is not log to the base 10. 1 plus S over n, where S over n is your signal to noise ratio, which is signal power divided by the noise power. In this formula is not in dB, typically we talk about SNR in dB, but when you are using this formula, take care you are using it in ratio and not in decibels. Okay. And what is this B? B is your one sided channel bandwidth. So, if this is your base band, this is Okay. Which means that the information rate, the largest information rate must be less than or equal to the channel capacity. Right. So, the largest you can transport, the largest rate you can transport is B times log of 1 plus S by n. So, the maximum achievable spectral efficiency is R over B. Spectral efficiency is data rate divided by bandwidth. R over B is log of 1 plus S by N, log to the base 2. So, this gives you the fundamental limit. So, as your signal to noise ratio becomes poorer and poorer, you have more noise in the system, S by N ratio starts falling and as your S by N ratio starts decreasing, log of 1 plus S by N will start decreasing and that reduces your spectral efficiency. Okay. So, you can in principle get very high spectral efficiency provided you can guarantee the corresponding signal to noise ratio. So, how do I now find the uh, spectral efficiency of the system? I need to figure out all the sources of noise and this noise is actually measured at the receiver because you are doing a demodulation at the receiver. 
So transmitter will have some noise, channel may or may not add noise, receiver will definitely add noise. The noise that you are talking about is the aggregate of all that, right. So at the receiver, if I can measure what is the signal to noise ratio, source could be anywhere. If I can measure that signal to noise ratio, I can then calculate what is the largest information carrying capacity or what is the largest spectral efficiency of that particular system, okay. So remember this in mind. So the reason why it is important to know this is because whenever now we talk about transmitters, we talk about receivers, what we have to ask is, you know, what is the noise added by this and how is that going to degrade the performance of my system, okay. Uh, similarly, the channel, the fiber, we will talk about is there a noise added by the fiber. At the back of the mind, let us keep remembering how is that going to influence my uh, capacity as uh, predicted by Shannon's theorem. And of course, uh, you know how to convert from uh, log to the base uh, 2 to the log from uh, to the log to the base 10. So for instance, let us say I have signal to noise ratio S by N is equal to 1. Okay. Let us think of a channel where the signal to noise ratio is 1, which means the noise power and the signal power are actually uh, same. Can you have communication in that system? You can. It depends on how you are coding the signal, how you are modulating the signal. The Shannon's theorem does not say that S by N should be greater than 1 or less than 1 or equal to 1 or anything like that. You have to use your own smartness to figure out distinguish your signal from the noise, okay. In fact, you know when you do GPS communication, your signal to noise ratio is going to be even less than 1. Your signal is actually buried in noise, the noise is more than the signal. So you would use smarter ways to figure out where is your signal which is buried in the noise, okay. So I can have signal to noise ratio of 1, I can have signal to noise ratio of less than 1, okay. So if I have S by N is equal to 1, and let us say my bandwidth is equal to 1 megahertz. This is the available bandwidth in my system. Now what decides the available bandwidth in my system? It depends on what transmitter I am using. It depends on what receiver I am using. It depends on the channel. For instance, if you are using a coaxial cable, last time we saw that the bandwidth was limited. Attenuation was minimum only for a certain bandwidth, right. So there is a certain bandwidth post by transmitter, channel and the receiver. So let us say for a given channel, it is a uh, given system, it is 1 megahertz. In which case, what is your R log of bandwidth is 1 megahertz and log 2 of to the base 2 is 1. So this is 1, so this is 1 megabits per second. That is the largest information rate. Okay. So, which is why whenever we talk about transmitter and receiver and channel, we need to look at two aspects of it. One, what is the bandwidth and second, what is the noise. So, that decides the fundamental limiting capacity in my system. 